Hello everybody, welcome to the show. If you don't know already, four producers, one sample is a concept actually created by creative genius Andrew Huang, I think around two years ago. I think it's a very creative concept and I'm really thankful to Andrew for coming up with this super entertaining idea and I really wanted to make a house and take no version of it. And in this first episode, I will have uh, Soul Button, Alson, and Maria Thresher as my guests. So when we decided to make this video, actually, there was no corona situation going on. And during the creative process, things got really crazy. And actually, we decided to donate all the revenue of the video to World Health Organization and their corona fight funds. So all the income that is made from this video will be going there. I think that's the least that we can do. We had even idea that maybe we should release this four track on maybe Bandcamp and also use that money to donate to World Health Organization. And if you think it's a good idea, if you like the tracks, just write comment section below so that we can do that as well. So that maybe you would like to also help. If you watch this video, you are already helping. So really thank you for that. The most important part of this video is actually picking a sample. And because we are all at home and been watching a lot of TV series, we actually decided to take the Netflix intro. So this one. and make a track out of it. We had a couple of rules. We said that we won't spend more time than 24 hours for creating the track. And we are free to use other instruments, but we will base the track heavily on the sample. But I will shut up now, so let's take a look at the results. Hello guys, my name is Mars Drescher and today I'm gonna to show you how I flipped the Netflix sample. Let's go. So the first thing which initially came to my mind when I heard the sample is two parts basically. You have a more percussive part in the beginning and then there is also a melodic tail right here. And both of these sounds are actually anything you need for making a track as we will see now. For the bass drum I made a lower pitch and a higher pitched version of the beginning. So next we have percussions and for the percussions I made these two sounds right here out of the sample. I recorded a little shaker which is just this little egg thing. Then I had to cheat a little bit and complement the percussion section with an 808 two samples to give it a little bit more groove. Yeah, that's the percussion section. Very quick and easy basically. Next we have the bass line, which consists of three main sounds basically. We have the very low sub bass line, higher pitched pad-ish bass line, both consisting of the same part of the sample right here. Then I took the entire sample, played it through an arpeggiator very very fast. So like dum 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 resampled it and then I could start playing it on a keyboard. And then it sounds like this. Also not too much rocket science. And then we have the synthesizer section. Most if not all of these sounds are made of the melodic tail of the sample as you can see right here. We have a little step sound, a pad sound. Then we have the main sequence lead sound whatsoever, which I layered with the Beringer Crave. I sent the Beringer Crave to one of my effect pedals just to give it a little bit more vibe. You may remember the melody from the Stranger Things intro theme, for it would give it a little bit style, you know, because uh, it's a Netflix sample and yeah, you get the idea. This is how it sounds. Okay, on entend direct the sound, ça tue. Le délai est très bon. Oh, this one is instant Stranger Things. Arpeggiator. <laughs> My favorite. C'est parti pour faire cet instrument. Wild Guru as well, pretty cool. Wow, fast. It's like dancing to Stranger Things. I love the snare, I never use snare. Oh. 
just gave this kind of summer vibes in it. Wow, yes, I love the, the bass when it changes. Very nice, very nice, I like it. It almost makes me feel like take my bicycle and go into the sea. I think tout a été fait autour de cette note qui est sur le sein, qui est un live. Very nice break. Je me demande si le plug aussi tout 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 plug. Oh, this RPG works so well. Netflix sample. <rire> nice. Cool. C'est euh, marrant de voir euh, le travail de chacun. On a donné tous parti du même point. On a fait une grande partie dans une direction qui n'a rien à voir. Oh, this was really cool. It immediately made me have summer vibes and I feel like I'm 90s child again. Le voici. Alors, euh, on voit que ce sample se divise un petit peu en deux parties. En tout cas, moi, je l'ai interprété comme ça. Donc il y a le début avec un côté euh, percussion orchestrale, ce qui me plaisait beaucoup. Et il y a la deuxième partie euh, qui me fait penser plus à un pad, si on prend juste la, la queue du sang. En fait. Moi j'ai commencé à partir de cette queue ici, en mettant quelques égaliseurs, en faisant une boucle sur le sample, qu'on voit de ici à ici, pour un pad, ce que j'appelle les pads d'ambiance. Donc c'est quelque chose qui reste derrière en fond, toujours sur la même note, et qui permet de mettre un, voilà, un côté un peu planant. C'est une méthode que j'utilise beaucoup dans mes morceaux. Donc je l'ai fait monter au début du morceau et en fait voilà, en le lisant en solo on se rend compte qu'il est tout, tout, tout le temps là et c'est vraiment lui qui va apporter l'ambiance du morceau. La deuxième partie du sample du coup, j'ai utilisé comme une percussion en plusieurs choses. Donc la première ça a été euh, celle-ci, garder vraiment le thème original du, de, la, de la percussion. Et euh, on peut voir ici et ici que j'ai fait vraiment des petits, euh, des petits cuts, des petits morceaux de ce sample pour créer un groupe principal. J'ai même rajouté le sample original de temps. Si je mets juste le kick, suite à ça j'ai fait une basse. J'ai ajouté quelques rythmiques, un clap, pour avoir la structure techno qu'on connaît. Avec le white table d'Ameton, on voit ici que je fais une scène des plugs pour apporter un certain groupe. Donc là j'avais la base du morceau. Et après, je, je me suis dit que je voulais quand même faire un, un break harmonique comme j'ai comme l'habitude de faire un morceau avec une certaine variante musicale. Donc j'ai fabriqué avec toujours wave table. Je suis parti de la note principale de l'ambiance que j'avais faite, celle-ci. Je suis parti de cette note et en le cherchant, j'ai trouvé une variation qui me plaisait plutôt pas mal. Nouveau synthé à partir de Wave Table et le sample. Et on arrive sur la deuxième partie du morceau. 
Donc voilà, pour, euh, pour la manière dont, euh, dont j'ai fait mon morceau. Merci beaucoup et euh, voilà, faites attention, restez chez vous. It sounds like the same start like my track. Cool, they like I think all these smoke percussions are the original sound. I love how he looped the sound. Like using the percussion and, and using the tail of the sample as pad. Same kind of approach so far. Oh this one immediately sounds like a melodic techno banger. Oh cool. Ooh. Feeling the groove a lot. to the business, I like it. Love the pet sounds. Chord progression is so moody, but so cool. Gives me instantly a feeling of nostalgia. <laughs> Very nice break. I love the strings. I love the pads. I'm really expecting a cool drop now. I like the break before the start. Oh, it's, this is so cool. Ah, you, are, you, you want me here. Ooh. Oh my god. So cool. I like, I really like this. Very cool track. Oh, that's it? Wow, okay. Also, what can I say? Lovely. Now I want to listen to this song again. I'm gonna repeat this. Hello guys, this is Sol Button. My name is Chris. I'm the owner of Stay Yoga Recordings A Inner Symphony. So first of all, I found out the key was in D, so I decided to make a track in D minor, and I started creating a loop from original sample in this way. Afterwards, I decided to add a very simple bass line with a very small variation, this one. Then I recorded some toms. This is the first three samples playing together. The next step, I wanted to add some melodies and to give some uh, kind of harmony to the track. So I wrote some very small notes um, and I used my Prophet's uh, external gear. And the one below is the synth which I recorded.
Finally, I decided to support a little bit more the melody, so I wrote four notes using some strings. Exactly this one. I show you now the result which is made by bass, toms, original sample, strings and the prophet. Of course I added some drums and to support finally the, the drop I recorded the last synth which is mainly just a chord but with pigments I transform in some kind of delay synth. And this is the final result. A drum I write in the beginning with these pads. Smooth. On dirait le sample en reverse, la partie percussion du sample a été mise à l'envers, je pense. On va sans plus, c'est cool. C'est une musique de film presque là. C'est cool. Really big ambience. I like the pad. The glitch, the glitch was really nice. Oh, and how we use the drum sample. Crazy atmosphere. Almost feels like a thriller movie soundtrack. Sounds around. Yeah, it really has a very nice vibe. Oh, another melody. Yeah. <laughs> Climax of the movie, like where everything happens. I think that all the little percussions behind, we were actually with the beginning of the sample. Typical sober trademark sound. Change of the tune, more drama. Wow, nice one. Good job. And it ends like this, really, really cool. Chouette, super. Here comes my flip to the sample. And if anything, I actually want to start with the first effect of the track. So I wanted to build this kind of drama intro. And then I had the idea of just like uh, pitching up the sample and creating this kind of rolling, storming intro. And the trick here was basically putting into the pitch band mode and starting the pitching up all the way here. 
And I have finished up with the, what I would call a plug storm. I take the original sample and then just cut a piece of here and then put a lot of effects on top of that, like the pan man, little alter boy, crystallizer and so on. And it created this kind of nice ambient in the beginning. I spent a lot of time to resample the stuff around and then resample the kick. And then I did exactly the same thing on the hi-hats as well. I just took a piece of it here and without any effects, it actually sounds like this. But I was looking for this kind of transient sound and what I did on top of that, put EQ and put the two limit varies and the yeah, vocoders and more limiters and EQs and vocoders and more vocoders like until I get this. And then I put a shimmer on top of that and resampled that to get this kind of white noise. Then I wanted to have ambient driving plug sound, created this one from the tail of the original. And then I have these pads. I think these are pretty important for this track at least. I want to create this like mystical ambience, but I did first took this to tail and without effect it sounded like this. The issue was because it's like moving back and forward, back and forward. It put a lot of reverb, so smoothed out the transients. So I wanted to have a bit more ambience, but I did basically took the sample and this time I put it into granular synthesis. So this moves around all the way, like up and down and up and down. And then I actually play it and... And finally I took the serum and put this again, the sample, create another wave and make this one a bit low end of the pad. All together sounds like this. And then I had the snare. So I had to divide into different layers. The first layer is the low end of the snare. And then I made this high end and then the white noise. To make that white noise, I took the vocoder, add another vocoder and pedal and drive it. Another vocoder, I put and turn this down. You just add vocoder until you get the sound. Never. In the end, it sounded like this and I think it's good. <laughs> These two are the only ones that I kind of wanted to cheat because I wanted to have this kind of really great elite sound and couldn't stay away from the diva. This is basically a preset from my preset pack and then I had the other guy. This one is actually what makes the break. <laughs> And this is how it sounds. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is a real sound effect. Ooh, the sound design is crazy. Very, very cool, this pitch. J'ai l'impression que le ta 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 a été fait avec le, le début du sample. On dirait que c'est la même note. On voit. Proper bass coupé sound. I like it. Ambiance bien dim. I love this fluttering hi-hat noise-ish sound in the background. I really like how you design the the original sounds. Part de la note du sample, je pense. Oh, 
crazy. It's cool, huh? I I really like when a track becomes empty instead of starting with a heavy drop. I like it. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button. And let us know on the comment section below if you want to have this track released. We know that actually people like the tracks. Other than that, stay home, stay safe, and do not forget to take care of each other. And I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.